Oh YouTube. <clears throat> Making stewed squash. I'm gonna use the instant pot to cook the squash and then I'm gonna put it in an iron in a nonstick skillet with some butter and olive oil and season it up and finish cooking it down to where it's cooked down to where we like it. I like it to cook all the water out of it. Um, we're gonna start out by cutting the blossom end and the stem end off of the squash, cut it in half and then cut it up in like one inch cubes. Place your steamer basket, I use the cauliflower type basket and I had enough squash that I filled up my six quart and to the bottom of the pot you'll add a cup to a cup and a half of water and I'll cook the squash on high pressure for six minutes. And I lifted it after it was done, I did a quick release removed it out of the pot and I'd already heated the two teaspoons of butter and a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in the nonstick skillet. Added into the skillet, added salt, black pepper, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and some sugar. The sugar will kind of help caramelize the squash and give it a little bit uh, more flavor. Continue to cook the squash till it is completely all the, just about all the water is gone out of it. You'll need to stir it every three or four minutes. It'll take another probably 10 to 15 minutes to complete cooking it. And I did it on low to medium heat. And just keep tasting the squash to see if it needs more salt or the seasonings that you like. Some people like to cut up uh, banana peppers in it that aren't hot or regular bell peppers, or even add onions and bell peppers to it. You can basically do it any way you like. Hope you enjoy this recipe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're not a member of our page, join our channel, and you'll get more uh, information when we post new recipes. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.